Hello everybody, welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be trialing the two new characters, Gallagher and Acheron. I don't know what Gallagher does at all. And Acheron, I kind of know a lot of what she does. It was really hard to avoid watching videos about her. I did watch videos about her. So we're going to trial Gallagher first, just to see what he does. I'm very excited because I feel like there are so little amount of good fire units and Lynx is actually an upgrade over Bayou. So I'm really hoping Gallagher can kind of be the same way. Inflicts enemies with a special status that restores the attacker's HP. Increases break of break damage taken by enemies. Okay. I wonder how him and Ruan Mei would go together. Oh my god, this is a very simple, but I like the color. That looks so cool. First first character with facial hair, by the way. Any facial hair at all, by the way. Whoa, Wolverine? That is crazy. All right, let's go for it. Okay. So this talent is a battle initiator. What did it do? Um, I know it's technique. Text the enemy after entering battle inflicts inflicts be sodded to all enemies and deals minor fire damage to all enemies. Okay. Okay. So besotted, I'm pretty sure is um whenever you attack them. Here, let's see. The besotted state makes targets receive more break damage. Okay. Okay, that's really good. Every time the target gets attacked by an ally, the attacker's HP is restored. Okay. Okay. That that's cool. So it's basically like whenever Luocha puts the field on all the allies, uh, when, on your on all your allies, and every time your allies attack, they heal your team it's kind of like that in a way um except it's just healing the attacker's hp so it is definitely a four star slightly worse version of luocha just by reading that um ultimate inflicts Posada on all enemies and deals fire damage on them at the same time and enhances the next basic attack the nectar blitz okay what is nectar blitz Wait, what oh maybe it's just a, it's just a new thing uh Corkage fee, basic attack, deals minor fire damage to a single enemy. Okay, so it doesn't say exactly what Nectar Blitz is, but it's going to enhance the basic attack in some way. A special brew, skill, immediately restores an ally's HP. Okay, so the skill is just the heal. Okay. Honestly, it was not bad. That was not bad. We're going to use the alt right away. It's an AoE alt. That's awesome. 52k. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. So his basic attack reduces the enemy's attack damage. That's what it does. That is, that is the buff that after you use his ult, his next attack will put a debuff on them that reduces their attack. That is cool. Let's just see the look of this. He just holds his coke. Well, not coke, probably. He, he holds his gamer subs, his tech tone gamer subs, and then he that that was a very fast heal. That, that's honestly pretty cool. If you just want to fly through turns, I guess this character is great. Oh uh, yeah, let's speed up. Eh. Rude. All right, we're gonna alt again, and we are going to absolutely clap these guys. Hold on, I actually want to see the healing. Oh wait, never mind. They're all healed right now. Okay. Interesting. He looks really cool, and he obviously plays really fun. Unfortunately, I only have him E1. I don't think I would use him, especially E1, over a Luocha 
or Ushuan or Adventuring whenever I get it. I just think this is one of those characters that is really cool for a free-to-play player. Awesome pickup on a free-to-play team. But if you have especially a character like Fushuan or Adventuring, which are probably going to be the two best sustain units in the entire game. Uh, Fushuan is already best, the best sustain unit, but I imagine that Adventuring will actually be right up there with her above Luocha, Huo Huo, and uh, Bayou, Lynx, uh, Fire Trail, but you, you know, all the four stars, of course. Um, so yeah, he, he seems like a really good pickup. He's a really cool character. Nihility. Oh, wait, no. Acheron. I don't know why I just said Nihil. Yeah, I just read it and then I just said it. Inflicts debuffs on enemies to gain charges and unleash the ultimate. The ultimate. Oh, my. The ultimate ignores enemy weakness types, ignoring uh, reducing toughness, and further reduces the enemy's all type resist. Wow. This technique can instantly defeat enemies. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know that the technique can instantly defeat enemies. That is cool. Yeah, I get it. That is awesome. I like how they actually let you use her technique here. So you just go through. And by the way, I know nothing is, you know, pulling up. Like nothing is coming up. But in the actual game, you still get the rewards for doing this, by the way. Wow. Like credits would be showing up to the right. Let's do our walk. This character looks awesome. Oh my god. Oh my. Mowgli, Mowgli! Okay, okay, we gotta... <clears throat> we gotta get out of here. Ooh. All right. Okay. Wait, she's actually hitting with her shuriken, like shuriken, her uh, katana, still in the uh, the holster. Okay. And then yeah, that's where she pulls out the katana. Okay. So trilateral wilt cross deals minor damage to a single enemy. Uh, skill gains one points of slashed dream, inflicts one stack of crimson knot to a single enemy, dealing lightning damage to this target as well as minor lightning damage to adjacent targets. So that's a splash attack, um, not necessarily AOE, but a splash attack where it's not full damage to all enemies, it's uh, full damage to one and then partial to the others. Uh, ultimate deals three hits of minor lightning damage to a single enemy if a crimson knot is removed from the target. Then deals minor lightning damage to all enemies. Finally deals one hit of lightning damage to all enemies and removes all crimson knot. That is insane. Oh my god. Uh, atop Rainleaf hangs onesies. I, I know it doesn't say onesies, but like I, I want onesies atop the Rainleaf. You know? Who doesn't want a nice comfy onesie? Talent. When Slash Dream reaches its upper limit, the ultimate can be activated. During the ultimate, reduce enemies' toughness for guarding of weakness types and reduce all enemies' all type resist. When a, any unit inflicts debuffs on an enemy target while using their ability, Akron gains slash dream and inflicts crimson knot on an enemy target. Okay. Uh, quadrivalent ascendance. Technique. Attacks the enemy. At the start of each wave, gains quadrivalent ascendance, increase or dealing. Lightning damage to all enemies and reducing toughness regardless of weakness types. If attacking a normal enemy, immediately defeats them without entering combat. When not hitting enemies, no technique points are consumed. So I would like you guys to know, or like you guys to realize that this works in simulated universe. If you do not know that, this works in simulated universe. Can we still have the upper hand? It's going to be crazy. So let's get in here. Just inflict the DD buff there. We just inflicted more. What are you waiting for? We're going to inflict break here. I think that's going to make her go and take her turn. This is going to be nine. Yep, I can use her alt because she reached nine stacks. 
So I can actually choose who the first hit of her alt is on, but I'm going to use it on dinosaur. Okay. I'm going to use, I could still change it. I'm going to use it on dinosaur again. I can still change it. I'm going to use it on dinosaur again, and then she's going to hit everybody. So that just dealt 183,000 damage in the trial. Now I know they can like, you know, in the trial should actually mean that like it's less, you know, telling of the character because they can they can make her as strong as they want in the trial it doesn't really matter but that is still insane that's crazy but we have another battle to do that's good because i was honestly a little sad that we weren't going to get another battle but here we are seven eight we're going to break this weakness and that wind shear and breaking the weakness is going to lead us to nine here we are boom boom Boom. Why would I not just hit the boss? 300,000 for... Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to move my camera. I said this a bit ago that I was going to move my camera downward so that y'all could see damage and everything. Y'all could see how many pulls. I literally did all my videos today. All my trials and um and my pull videos with the camera still in the uh upper right i'm really sorry so you didn't get to see my pulls how many pulls exactly that i had i'm really sorry about that i don't i don't know if that took away anything from the experience i'm sure it did acheron play the trial guys play the trial you will see what i mean in the trial she just dealt over three hundred thousand damage and i know you know they set it up to do that uh so people that would so people would want to pull her, but that is insane. That's what I'm trying to make my mine do. My personal one. And we have her in the light cone to do that. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. I really appreciate you guys. Subscribe to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when there's more. I'm going to be posting shorts of the pulls, the pull videos and everything like that. And the trials. And yeah, I just really appreciate you guys. So. Um, peace.